All right, all right, welcome back, everyone. This is our third game of the day. This, I'm pretty sure it's the third game of the day. Uh, yeah, it's the third game of the day. I can count. Uh, what do we got going on here? So, uh, let me just quickly check the Discord. All right, so the mutually banned heroes by the bot, which are randomly chosen, are Kraken, Nymphora, Magmus, and Lord Sulphorus. So none of those heroes can be picked. And then we now have Pearl, Bushwhack, Monarch, Soul Reaper, Wretched Hag, Plague Rider. Okay. So that leaves open Devo for Legion. And Hellborn picks up NG Flux. And then we have a Vindicator and a Lodestone. So they're actually going with a similar lineup to last game. They go with uh, the Vindy and the Devo again. I find it weird that they're going with Vindy. Actually, you know, Vindy makes sense in this lineup because they're against NG Flux. So they can silence the Engineer and kill him. And then... Flux pull doesn't really do a whole lot other than, well, I mean, it's still strong on its own, but ideally they want to pull everyone into energy field. So if they can silence the NG or kill the NG first, then that's going to be good. Uh, what's the bands looking like now? We have an artillery band. Whoa! Respect band from last game. Oh, yeah. Then we have Predator and Zephyr... No, Predator and Geomancer coming out from Hellborn. And then we have Hellbringer, Pharaoh, and Zephyr. Okay. <clears throat> we have a Cursed Madman coming out. This looks like a TGT draft. NG Flux... Madman or Cursed, or even a B-Pro B -pro draft or something. A Cursed Madman is interesting. I'm surprised they pick up a Cursed against Vindicator and Devo. I don't feel like a Cursed is that good here. Because they don't really have a whole lot of things to remove. But also, like, a Cursed will just get silenced. Then he can't save people. And people are going to get pulled away by the Devo. And a Cursed just has to run in trying to save people and, and being silenced. So feels kind of awkward. They might be able to make it work, but on paper, I don't really like it. Of course, it's a little bit better against the bubbles. You can remove silence off his teammates, but again, I think it'll be a hard game for a cursed. And Madman might still end up like dying anyway. So, Bubble, Slowstone, and Devo. Who's playing support this game? Is it Devo support this time? I go with a dark lady. That's a really greedy carry pick. They have more. Si they have so much silence. They have silence, silence, silence. Which is gonna fall off once they get shrunkens on Flux and Madman. If they have shrunkens, they can use their spells. I would almost have preferred they picked up some more disa actual disables than silences, but. They might be able to make this work. 
Because silencing heroes like a cursed and uh, engineer are quite strong. Last pick should be a position three here for Hellborn. They call me Scrap. And him I call Vorax. Is it Core Engine? It's Core Engine? Who's playing Engine? Oh, Sigma's gonna play NG mid. Okay. Ah, Poggers. I like Core Engine actually a lot. NG with farm? Might actually be really good here because then he will have enough items to not have to worry about getting silenced and stuff. So this is uh, it, maybe it's position three NG actually, but I think it'd be better to do side lane flux and do mid NG, which is I think what they'll do. They'll do mid NG and then maybe scrap flux bottom and then madman occurs short. This should be better or the best way they could lane their heroes i think yeah i think the flux and the scrapper are pretty strong together these are pretty pretty strong laners lots of damage tanky i have a little bit of healing if scrap gets his e evo's roaming this game so he played mid last game same player now he's gonna play roam devo i like it and is gonna play mid bubbles and they have off lane lodestone Dark Lady Vindicator bot is very greedy. This is a very greedy short lane going up against a dual lane of Scrap Flux. But they have Devo to roam. Maybe he rots the uh, easy camp, gets level 2. Doesn't skilled anything yet. <laughs> you guys want ads now? This is like the worst time for ads. Oh no. Alright, we'll do a short one. We'll do a short ad. I have to remember there's delays, so you'll probably get an ad during the pick phase. Alright, so, based on the drafts, I have no clue who's going to win this game. I think there's potential for both sides. I will say, I like Hellborn's, I like Hellborn's draft when they get shrunkens, and early game I think there's a lot of kill potential and roam potential from Legion to make uh, good use of their laning phase. I think dodging the accursed is correct, just sending one guy against it. Bubbles vs NJ is a pretty nice pick if he can play well with the take cover. I don't think he knows where the mines are. There's a t good takeover from Doze. Sidesteps the keg from Sigma. Sigma's taking a lot of creep damage. Good pressure, but Doze doesn't have silence yet, so he can't look to man up just yet. So already some back and forth pressure in the mid lane. Bloodstone should feel pretty comfortable going up against a cursed madman. There's not really a whole lot of kill potential here. He's gonna try to pull the lane. I'm just going to utilize the, the neutrals. And I feel like Hellborn should win bottom. We'll see how they do. Dark Lady is going to get some last hits under tower here, hopefully. You know Scrap is pulling? Taking out this uh, medium camp. They have a ward blocking. They actually see the Debo here, so they, they should know that he was just in the area. And they actually port down the Accursed down here, which I think is correct. I think Madman can just 1v1 low stuff. There's really nothing for Accursed to do top. So I think coming bottom... And this is a lane that they should win anyway, so... It could be good for him to go here. Just gonna see that the rune's already taken. Devo is mid lane. This could be a kill on NG! Maybe! Good sidestep from Yagar Dig. Very well played. They take out Sigma. Get Keg on cooldown. Even tanks out the takes out the mines. I think, not even knowing that they were there. Oh, is TPing back in. But I don't think they can kill him. 
Not enough HP and mana on Debo and Bubbles here. What's a curse doing now? He's just running around the map. See, this is what I meant when I said I don't think a curse is a good pick this game. Like, just from the draft, I could already, like, just from the first couple of picks in the game, I could tell you that a curse would have, like, a very hard time this game. And I think they would have been better off picking a different support. Bubbles with Bloodlust, top GPM, hero damage, Madman Bubbles. Lux is on 16 and 5, TDL is on 14 and 1. Well, it's already got a bottle actually. It's 14 and 7. And this, I guess this is to be expected since the curse left and ran around the map. Now he's back top. He, has, he doesn't know where to be. If he goes bot, he might just soak their XP and they want to they want to get levels on Scrap and Flux. Devo might just gank NG mid again. Uh oh. Devo, oh. He didn't know that I guess Sigma wanted to go for that room. But he wants to be here for this bot timing of them pushing up for this uh, camp. He can just start rotting if he wants. He throws the hook on the scrap. There's the silence. Free kill. TDL only needed to throw out silence. A lot of pressure coming in from Bubbles. 29 and 2 against 27 and 2. So even with the death, Sigma's doing very good on lost hits. I think NG is a strong laner against the bubbles. Is good at attack animation, good damage. Oh my. He's hungry. He knew that he went back to base low HP and mana, so. Just trying to get the snipe. Might just go top now. Lodestone's level 5, and honestly, they could kill the Accursed so easily. Like, if he just stuns into hook. They do need to time it though, so Accursed doesn't deny himself. It's very. Possible he might just die or deny himself. Now they're gonna see. Oh, that ward should have shown Devo warding if they were paying attention there. But yeah, Flux is doing really well here. So they're getting farm on three people. It's pretty skewed with Bubbles getting the Bloodlust, but the rest of it is not very good so far. So Legion needs some time. Good stun, into hook, Fog gets kidnapped, he's dead. He's going to start banning Debo, I swear. I I, I think Fog just does not want to play against Debo anymore. Oh, Sigma whiffs, whiffs the ulti there. Tried to catch Bubbles. I think Bowser might port to this. Oh, did, was this a mistake? No, because Vindy's here. So I steps the keg. There is uh, some good early rotations setting up kills across the map for Legion so far. Bubble Snow wants to go by. He doesn't have kelp, but he has mana for Song of the Sea and Silence. Who do they want to go for? I guess they're going to go for Scrap. He gets Silence. Oh, Bubble's taking a lot of damage! Oh my. Dark Lady jumps in. They get the one kill. Accursed is here now. They would probably need to go for the Accursed. They're putting pressure on the Flux though. Those A wants to go in. There's a shield, which might hold them back. Twenty four percent hero damage on is a turtle. Was this gonna go back to base? Looks like. Agar Dig's gonna sit mid for now, gain experience, soak the lane while Bubbles is ganking. I like it. Sidesteps Keg. They both have wards in mid lane. On the same spot. Rocket Drill dodges the barrel roll. Looks like Fa's gonna go Cleaver this game. A great scavenger. 
Boz, uh, going away from his usual Madman item build. A bit surprised, but I do think going up against a Dark Lady could be a good cleaver game. I heard the Shadow Storm be a channel. Boo! Oh, big kill coming in from Karhuki! Karhuki with the solo kill. Boz gonna buy back here. He's gonna pour it back to top lane. I guess he wants to collect the wave. There was a rev ward down as well from Karhuki. Very well played. Energy field. Defensive. Those stone ports in. There's a hook from Devo. They take him out. Eight, no, seven to nothing. Hero kill lead. For the Legion side. He places the ward under the rev ward. It gets immediately countered. Karhuki's playing out of his mind right now. 1-0-2. Oh, kills top. Kills mid. Bubble snipes out the uh, rat in mid lane. I missed that one. I guess he knew he was there and he was low. The Legion is just clicking right now. I mean, they played fantastic last game. And now we need to bump up the tunes a little bit because the action just keeps picking up. Engineer gets sniped out mid lane. He's 0 4. Flux and Accursed haven't really found their place this game, but I mean, nobody's got a kill on Hellborn. I gotta say, I think instead of the Madman Accursed, I think this was a good silhouette game. This would have been a good silhouette game. Having Nullstone against, like, the Devo and the Divinity would have been sick. They're gonna take out Fa in the top lane. Another buyback. A disconnect. That's not looking good. I think it's over. I think... I think it's over. Game is Jover. Scrap's gonna die in the river. It's eleven to nothing, Breaky. Can you hear the thunder? Alright, well, I don't think we got much of a game left. So, think there's going to be more games. I would be surprised unless another team wants to step up and play. But judging by the time, I'm going to say they're probably done. <clears throat> so, unfortunately, I think that's it. I'm going to DC here. And I'm gonna wait for the uh, gonna wait for the delay to catch up, and we'll probably just raid someone in a few minutes. But 